Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Returnal on the GTX 750 Ti, the legendary card from 2014. So when you launch the game, it says Direct 3D12 is not supported in your system. I'm guessing the like on the other games that have more advanced DX12 features, but it says application will attempt to launch using DX11. So let's go. <laughs> and I'm going to try right away 720p because there is lots of VRAM usage, even on 4GB cards. Unfortunately, on DX11, it doesn't have the pre-compiling of shaders when the game starts. So keep that in mind. It's going to stutter more. And I don't know why the game always starts in HDR when I launch it. It shouldn't be that way. Give it a moment. Settings. Let me disable HDR. It seems to be a bug with my monitor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. And for some reason, the game is not on full screen. Let me do windowed 720p and try that again. Yeah, some minor bugs here and there. No big deal. I can deal with it. There we go. So 720p. Everything on low. right here and I'm using quality FSR so we're below 720p actually and let's see how it runs shall we okay we're in the mid 20s so you might be asking yourself why this drops apart from the GPU not being super powerful of course 750 Di 2014 card well uh, we only have two gigs of VRAM and when you're VRAM limited in this game it gets sub sub 30 fps no matter what you do so let's try just to see um, performance fsr and as you can see we get the same performance despite the resolution being lower so it's clearly a vram limitation and as slow as i can go is 720p so there is no lower screen resolution that i can choose so unfortunately, this is how it goes. It's it'll stay like this. Let me try without FSR like at all. Without FSR, we get 21 FPS. So not a huge difference. My advice again: go with FSR. I think ultra quality will be the same performance. Okay, yeah, 23. Let's stay on quality. So, it's below 720p, we have the lowest settings. And again, there's no pre-compiled shaders on DX11, so you're going to get more stutter when playing the game, more than on DX12. So, the game runs, but due to the 2 gigs of VRAM, we cannot maintain 30s even with the lowest settings at the lowest resolution available, which in this case is 720p. So, is the game playable? I don't think so. There's more stutter as well. And again, the VRAM is the issue. Yeah, even the effects are broken. And textures are not loading properly. So my advice, if you have the 4 gb 750 Ti, it's probably going to reach 30 with this configuration. But on the 2 gb version, even the effects don't load properly, so... I mean, it's incredible that it actually works, but on the X11, it still, yeah, it still runs out of VRAM. It makes sense. I mean, four gigabyte cards on the lowest settings are using like 3.6 gigabytes of VRAM, but I'm impressed that it actually works. <laughs> it kind of blows my mind <laughs> that you can actually run the game. I mean, the fact that it actually runs, it doesn't tell you, hey, no, you cannot play it. It blows my mind. But hey, maybe someone finds a way to use less VRAM. Who knows? At this point, anything is possible with the PC gaming community. I mean, removing the grass would be an interesting addition. But there's so much stuff on screen that I don't think it's going to be playable either way. Yep, 
you. So what to expect? Sub 20 FPS, basically. When there's a lot of stuff going on. Reminds me of my childhood when I played on integrated graphics at, at 10 FPS. When I was a kid, this was playable. This was like super smooth. Now, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> I got spoiled with 30 FPS, 6 FPS and 120 on CSGO. Whoa. So can you play the game? Yes. Would I recommend it like this? Absolutely not. But hey, it works. <laughs> Which, again, blows my mind. I cannot stress it enough. Hi there. Excuse me, I'm going to grab this orb. Keep this, no spoilers. Fabricator pod. God, it's even worse here. <laughs> uh, the more areas it loads, the more the GPU is going to allo allocate it to VRAM, I guess. The game, not the GPU. Oh well. Well, when I'm looking at this wall, it's actually over 30. So again, we are VRAM limited. Although now it's stabilized. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, once you get into a more central part of the location, it drops below 20 again. Going. Oh. So after a while, it might stabilize like this. Because we're not in a central part of the map anymore. But most of the time, it's going to be below 30. This is the exception rather than the rule. I'm enjoying myself actually. Smarted my enemies. Break off enemies. Whoa. Big stutter. As you can see, it gets worse very quickly. But hey, it works. It actually works. Mind blown. Anyway, guys, I had enough. It's been interesting to take a look at this. Again, 720p. Quality FSR. You can go lower if you want, but it's not going to make a difference because we are VRAM constrained. As you can see, the effects don't load properly either, so. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.